Hey everybody, this is Pete, and in this video I want to get back to my short series highlighting some of the really cool things I learned at AU 2020, and I want to focus in on Mike Thomas's Inventor Sketching Beyond the Basics class today. He had several really good tips, and I'm going to highlight a couple of them. One that I knew about, one that I actually wasn't aware of that I think could be a really effective strategy for sketching things that aren't visible. So what I mean by that is sometimes you end up creating a sketch and it's in the middle of a tank or it's in the middle of a block or um, there's other geometry that gets in the way and it's not really possible to orbit the model enough to see your sketch. So you end up having to somehow gain visibility to your sketch plane. So we're going to do that a couple different ways. But we'll start out by highlighting the XY plane. I've already created a block and now we want to try to work on a cavity inside the block. So I'll start a sketch here and you can see nothing. I can't see inside. So there's a tool down here that this is the way I usually do it. And this is a solid technique. It's called slice graphics. And what it does is it temporarily removes any geometry between you and your sketch plane. And it's a toggle so I can hit F7 to turn it on or off. So I'll go ahead and do that, and I will knock out a quick rectangle here. We'll say it's a 1 by 2.5, and away we go. So that's the method I typically use. But I learned a different technique in Mike's class that I thought was really cool. And it's not like this method is wrong and, and Mike's other method is, is right, but it's just nice to have a couple different tools in your tool set. So this one is actually a sketch option inside the application options. So if I go to application options, I find the sketch. Down at the bottom, you have an opacity control. So actually, let me uh, hit F7 here, otherwise it won't be as cool. There we go. Now we'll go back into that sketch tab. And so you can see my sketch is currently hidden, but what you can do is you can slide the opacity or you can key in a value you would like. And when we hit apply, even though that sketch is not truly visible, I can see it through the block. So that's a really nice toggle and you can kind of play with different settings to see if it more or less for what I'm doing. I don't think more opacity really makes a big difference, but it's pretty slick. So I can come over here then and I can apply a circle to each side. Now I'll just quickly make them equal to each other. Oh boy, try that one more time. So much geometry in the way. There we go. And so I'll finish that sketch. And it's even easier sometimes to pick stuff. Uh, I don't have to guess where my objects are. And then we can do a cut. We'll just do a quick symmetric cut and we'll say 0.75. Perfect. So that really quick hitting tip, I just want to show you it did actually do that. And there's the cavity inside. So again, just little tips and tricks like that can make the sketching go a little bit faster, can make it work really effectively for you. Other tips that Mike, uh, Mike had, so I'll be making a couple other videos or at least one more. Lots of really interesting things. So stay tuned for that. I'm also including a link to Mike's class down in the description below. So check it out. It was really good. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Have a blessed day.